What's up guys? Out here in the garage, gonna uh, go over the three most popular and most widely accepted measuring boards for kayak fishing tournaments. All right, first up's the one that's been around the longest. I've been kayak fishing for about nine years now. And even then, this was the board that everybody used and that's the hog trough. Uh, plastic board, see how flexible it is. There's been a few, uh, controversies over the last year or so about exactly how flexible it is. It comes uh, in a 30 inch length. I've actually cut this one down to 26 to be able to fit in my boat better and carry better. Uh, on here you can see the lines are raised and the measuring uh, numbers are on the outside edge with lines all the way down the middle at different increments, quarter inch increments. Uh, the raised lines on there are the raised, raised edges for the measurements but they're not pre-marked. You have to mark them yourself and you said I did a horrible job on that one. But if you look along the, the board itself, you have to mark it up yourself, continually remarking as remark them as they, they get wet, washed off by fish slime or whatever else. Um, but it's been the standard for nearly a decade. You know, it's been time uh, for something else to, to come in and, and take its place or improve upon what they what they had. I mean, there's plenty of ways to reinforce this, but as you can see, this is not a very durable item, even though I've had this one a long time. Uh, and it takes a lot of maintenance to make sure that the lines are visible, that it floats, that it doesn't break. You can reinforce these in the back. Uh, but yeah, number one, the hog trough, that costs about 20 bucks. Still widely accepted in a lot of local trails, but a lot of the national trails are actually going away from these. And I'll explain to you why with the other boards. All right, next, what's come on the scene hard the last couple of years is the uh, the catch board, K-E-T-C-H, from Catch Co. or Catch Company. Uh, it's a metal board, aluminum, weighs about three pounds. It's solid as a rock. It does not flex, obviously. Um, the metal board is actually inside of a tray that gives it a gives it an edge for laying the laying the fish in there. Comes in multiple colors. This is an orange one. Uh, it comes in black, purple, green. Uh, I've seen a red one, a few other colors out there. Um, solid board. People say it's heavy. I mean, two and a half, three pounds, that's not that heavy. Lines are laser engraved. You can see them on there. Pre-marked, pre-colored. The, the measuring numbers run down the middle instead of on the outside edge like the hog trough. That can be a problem for some people uh, because if that last number is covered up and you can't see the next number, you're kind of guessing where that, where that fish uh, hit. But solid board durable board as long as you don't drop in the lake or lose it should be the last board you ever need so catch and this one is widely accepted now by every major tournament organization as a matter of fact uh, the hobie bass open series only accepts metal boards the catch measuring or the catch metal measuring board uh, in its tournaments for reliability and the, the lack of being able to tamper with it or flex it or do anything with it all right and last but not least is the newest addition from the catch company if I got that turned the right way and it is their new uh, I'm gonna say plastic board some sort of composite plastic not near as flexible as the hog trough as you can see can't really bend that thing much more uh, of a substantial plastic with some reinforcement in the back this is a 26 inch version main difference between it and the hog trough other than being much more durable and not as flexible you can see there is it comes with mark marks every quarter inch just like the metal board the numbers in the middle right there but they're pre darkened or pre-colored in lines they're not raised lines they're recessed lines and there's also numbers on the outside edge there as you can see to help with reference now there's a little bit of an illusion you can get with that and it throws you off so you want to do your measurements off that that middle middle set of numbers not the outside edge that's just a reference to get you in the right ballpark because if you're not directly overhead it can throw off a little illusion that that fish is shorter or longer than you think it is if you can tell that on there or not also another accepted board out there is the yak gear fish stick i'm not going to say about much it much about it because i don't think it should be accepted it's too uh apt to be inaccurate and or flex bend or just not a very good board in general. These three boards should get you in most tournaments. Make sure you check with your local tournament director and or uh, the tournament director of the big national event you're trying to get to to make sure that the boards you have or the boards you're gonna purchase is accepted there. Get out there and have some fun. Hope that helps you pick one out.